Jack Benny program. Rochester! You, you know I'm going out tonight. Now, help me get dressed. I don't see why you're going to much trouble just going to a concert. Rochester, this isn't just a concert. I want you to know that Ernesto Pettuccini is one of the world's great violinists. Oh, boss, come now. I think you play the violin just as good as he does. I do not. Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, yes, you do. I do not. Well, I think you do. Rochester, you've never even heard Pettuccini. Well, take advantage of it, boss. Take advantage of it. <laughs> now, stop with the jokes, will you? And help me. Here, help me with the collar. Why not? Miss Meyerhauser will be here pretty soon. M Miss Meyerhaus? Yeah, Hauser, Hauser. No. I'm taking her to the concert. <clears throat> this collar's kind of tight. It, I know, but it, it shrunk but it's the only one I've got, so it'll have to do, I think. Well, there you are. Mm. Now, how's that feel? Well, it, it's all right, but it, I don't know, it's so tight, I can, I can hardly... <laughs> Look at it. Now, fix it again, will you? All right. Now, look out. I hate to have to get dressed for any place. Wait, I'm getting it. You got it? Yeah, I'm getting it. Rochester, don't hurt me. I won't. I won't. All right. Got it? Okay, got it? No! All right, now, give me my tie now. All right. <laughs> Rochester, look at this. Look at it again. I'll fix it once more. Here, I'll hold the tie. Oh, brother. Yeah, I still want to hear him, though. He is really the greatest. <clears throat> no. Okay, now, fix my tie. Got it? Okay. No, just right. just okay, I got it. Right? Yeah. All right. Take it easy. All right. Oh. Okay. <coughs> Let me see now. Yeah. All right? Yeah. All right. I'm going to, I'll get out and get my coat. All right. Fine. <laughs> I heard it. I heard it. What happened to your tie? It flew out the window. <laughs> There's another one in here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here, here. Yeah, what? Now, here, fix it. All right. Oh, brother. Uh, take it easy. <laughs> Ow! Oh, wait, I, I'm sorry. There. Wait, no. Uh, fix the tie. Uh, okay. There you are. Hmm? Huh? You got it? Just a minute. Uh, there. All right. No. All right, now put on the coat. Okay. Okay. There. Now, now, how do I look? Huh? Oh, All right? Fine, that's real. Uh oh. What's the matter? Oh, boss, you got a stain on your sleeve. Oh, yeah, darn it, that looks awful. It surely does. But that's what you have to expect when you rent a dress you. <laughs> Rochester, next time, let's be careful who we rent it out to. Huh? <laughs> oh, that must be my date. Miss Meyerhauser, come right in. Thank you, Rochester. Yeah. Hey. Mildred. Jackie. Mary, gee, you look beautiful. <laughs> Gosh, you look so... What's the matter? Well, I like everything except that ribbon in your hair. What ribbon? Boss, that's your bow tie. <laughs> when I stepped off the bus. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I don't want to miss the first part of the concert. The fellow's yeah. just marvelous. You know? Concert, concert. I still don't know why we can't go to the fight. Look, at, I don't want to go through that. I mean, what's so wonderful about the fight? There's a big bout tonight. Slasher Jones and Dynamite Thompson. Oh, why do we have to go to a concert? 
Look at it, honey. I don't want to even talk about it. We're going to the concert, and you'll enjoy it. Well, I'll give it. Roxbury Florist. I have an orchid corsage. An orchid corsage? An orchid I corsage? Oh, Jackie, you think of everything. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Chester, that's just it. I didn't order an order. <laughs> hello. Uh, hello, uh, Roxbury Flores? Uh, this is Jimmy Stewart. Say, uh, I'm calling to ask you about that uh, orchid I ordered two hours ago. <laughs> Oh, you've sent it already? Oh, it should be here any minute, then. Oh, fine, fine. Thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. Yes, Lloyd. Oh, sure. Why did you insist I wear this dress tonight? Well, if you've got to know, I stopped by the floors, picked out your favorite orchid to wear with it. Oh, thank you, honey. You think of everything. Look Hello. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Stewart, but the delivery boy made a mistake. Instead of delivering the orchid to your address, 366 North Cannon Drive, he delivered it to 366 North Camden Drive. But we'll prepare another one and rush it right over. Uh, well, uh, well now, uh, thanks a lot, but I, I, I don't know about you. See, we're going out. And I, I don't think that, uh, I really don't think that there'd be time. Mr. Stewart, while you were saying that, we could have had it there. <laughs> uh, just forget about it anyway, huh? Uh, never mind, never mind. Goodbye. What was that? Well, you're not going to get your orchid. By mistake, it was delivered to you-know-who. <laughs> No. Yep. Don't tell me another one of our deliveries went to Jack Benny's house. Exactly what happened. Don't you think it'd have the decency to call the florist? That they could pick it up and exchange it. I mean, after all, what's Jack going to do with an orchid? Well, knowing Jack, since he got it for nothing, he'll wear it himself. <laughs> be so bad if this was the first time. There was the lampshades, the rattan furniture, and what he did with that girdle of mine, I'll never... <laughs> But you must admit he brought over our vacuum cleaner. Only because we offered a reward. <laughs> that's, that's very true, very true. <laughs> what, are you, what are you laughing at? Remember the time we bought the big tank of tropical fish and they were delivered to Jack's house? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, at least we got something out of that. You know, two nights later, he invited us over for a fish dinner. <laughs> Wouldn't you think, as long as there is a similarity in our house numbers, that it would work both ways? Well, if he ever buys anything, maybe it will. <laughs> Wait a minute, I just happened to think. Once we did get his mail. Well, what was that? Don't you remember we got his milk bill? Oh, no. <laughs> Honey, Jack slipped that under the door himself. <laughs> Honey, it's getting late. We'd better go. You know, now, Jack's house is right on the way. Now, we're going to stop. I'm going in, and I'm going to insist that he give me that orchid. Oh, honey, don't aggravate yourself. It's not that important. No, but why can't he give me the, the or... Oh, well, I suppose it's on. We're out for a good time. And if there's one person I don't want to see tonight, it's Jack Benny. So I'm with you. Let's go to the Pettuccini concert. Come on. These are our two seats right here. That's right. Thank you. Quite all right. Thank you very, very much. There we are. Hey. These are good seats, aren't they? Yeah. Well. <laughs> Where'd you get the peanuts? I bought them when I saw we were going to the fight. 
<laughs> well, for heaven's sakes, don't eat them in here. Oh, all right. Pardon me, but may I see your tickets? My tickets? Here. Oh, here they are, right here. Yeah. Well, I'm terribly sorry, but you're in the wrong row. These tickets are for row A. This is row B. Oh, oh well, that's all right. Down oh, there. We got even better seats. Come on. Come on, honey. <laughs> Like a lady, just once. Will and put on your shoes. My shoes? Hey, mister, would you mind passing my shoes? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Darkest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Pardon. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for yeah. Well, at least your shoes came the right way. <laughs> Concert. Come on, let's go to the fights. We can still catch the main event. Honey, we're here and we're going to stay. So. Well, okay. If that's the way you want it. After all, you are nice to me. I mean, you bought me this orchid. Oh, well, honey, I'm... Gee, I've given you a lot of nice gifts. Yeah. But this thing you bought me for Christmas is too tight. <laughs> I think the concert is about to start. Gee, I can't wait till Petticini comes out. He's wonderful, honey. He really is. Gee, but the place is packed. Yes, a very good turnout, yeah. Sort of surprised me, too, when you consider the big attraction right across the street. What's that? Well, one of my pictures is playing there. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you know, these things start right on time. Mr. Petticini's, he's five minutes late, I wonder. Maybe he's across the street watching your picture. <laughs> yes, maybe he's all stopped. <laughs> Concert's about to start. Uh -huh. What's he going to play first? Uh, let's see. Uh, Allegro from Symphony Espanol. Once in your life, you're someplace where there's some class. I mean, look at all the important people down here. Look at, look at all the. Hey, hey, look who's here right below us. Who? My friends, Mr. and Mrs. Jimmy Stewart. Oh. He's getting ready to play a second number. Jimmy, Jimmy. Gee, I wish I could get his attention. I'll get his attention. 
Don't whisper. <laughs> Jimmy. 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 What's the matter? What's the matter? Your hand suddenly went cold. Don't look now, but Jack Benny's sitting right above us. Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing with the mirror? I'm trying to see if he's wearing my orchid. <laughs> well, is he? No, but Miss Sour Cream is. <laughs> oh, her. Yeah. Well, I've got to hand it to Jack, you know. This sort of to bring her to a concert like this is a pretty good idea, you know. A little culture will do her good. Yes, yeah, do you remember the time? came to our pool party and she arrived carrying a cue stick and some chalk. Yeah. <laughs> During dinner, I remember I asked her to pass me a hard-boiled egg and she chalked up and put it right in my side pocket. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. He's certainly working hard to get your attention. No, 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 just, just ignore him. Just ignore him. <laughs> Starting to throw peanuts at him. Well, don't look up and maybe he'll quit. <laughs> no, we, we can't just sit here. I'm beginning to feel like a trash can. <laughs> I'm going to call the usher. <laughs> no, they aren't bad. They're soft. <laughs> Mister, do you have to throw your peanut shells on my head? <laughs> Those peanuts aren't mine. Well, then what are you chewing? <laughs> That's right, yes, that's right. <laughs> Jimmy, let's get up and get some other seats. Well, I don't think that'll be necessary, Gloria. I, I think the peanut shower's over. How do you know? I just got hit with the bag. <laughs> I can't understand what's wrong with Jimmy. I just made a direct hit and it didn't phase him. <laughs> Sir, would you mind sitting back so we can all enjoy the concert? Why should he? He paid for his tickets just like you did. Uh, Mildred, please. Well, somebody had to shut the bum up. <laughs> Look at Mildred. Why is it every time I take you out, you have to embarrass me? Quiet up there. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, Mr. Pettichini. I may be skinny, but believe me, I can handle him. Now, Jack, I'm worried about it. That blonde that's with him. <laughs> yeah, she could murder me. <laughs> Let's go home. Oh, honey. Jimmy, sit back and relax. No, honey, I can't relax. I'm mad at him, and that peanut made me hungry. Come on. <laughs> Some music lovers walking out in the middle of a concert. Well, I ain't a music lover either. Come on, we can still go to the stadium and catch the main event. Honey, I brought you to the concert so you'll get some culture, learn some of the finer things. 
Now, we're going to stay here and listen to this music. Well, you can listen to the music if you want to. I'm going to listen to the fight. Oh, you silly. Both men move out to the center of the ring, and there's a left by Slasher following up by Arthur. Now, the man's trying to cover up. Are you crazy? Snack of some kind. And I promise you the next time I take you out, I'll, I'll get a list telling you everybody that's going to be there. Oh, Jimmy. No, I mean it. Now, it's all right to meet Jack Benny at the studio. That's business. But socially, no. <laughs> well, it was all right to leave early anyway. It was already getting terribly foggy. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Well, now, who could be at the door? 11.30 at night. A Rochester, a... <laughs> Jimmy, what are you doing in my house? Jack, this happens to be my house. Oh, for heaven's sake, I told the cab driver to take me to Camden Drive. He took me to Cannon. And in this fog and everything, I couldn't even see. <laughs> for goodness sake, Jack, you don't be rude and stand here in the hallway. Let's go in. <laughs> By the way, we, we saw you at the concert. Oh? Yeah. Hi. Do you have fun at your pool party? I remember. <laughs> oh, look, Jackie. Hot tea and sandwiches. Yeah. Oh, they always have it here. Oh. You know. Well, we sit down. <laughs> <laughs> no. Tea? tea? You want tea? Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I forgot to fill it. I'll go get some. <laughs> uh, well, Gloria, I'll, I'll help you get that. I'll, I'm... Uh, 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 uh. Yes, have a sandwich. <laughs> Mildred, mm -hmm. I have a feeling you better drink the tea without cream. <laughs> well, the last time I was here, they went out for cream, and two weeks later, I got a postcard from them from the south of France. <laughs> if it weren't for me, they'd never go anyplace. 